I'm doing this video mainly for myself because I rarely used Mach 3 turn. I got it working a bit ago. And um, I keep forgetting how to use it because I, I rarely use it so much. So I went through the book this time. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to put it out there on YouTube. And uh, next time I go to Thread, I just watch my own video. Anyway, every time you start up Mach 3, you've got to start with the machine coordinates and you gotta zero the machine I don't know why it doesn't remember so what as I I did was I jogged back away from the workpiece and then I set my Z and I set my X for home then the next step is I go to the part <clears throat> uh, coordinates which I didn't understand before but now I think I got the hang of it and I'll come in and I'll touch off on my X and then take the dial or the um, your indicator measure the outside diameter and divide by 2 and that's how you set your zero right at where the part ends that'll tell you your zero where the part ends that's what you want then you do the same thing for your Z. Touch your tool off. I use a 20 thousandths feeler gauge in there. Or not a feeler gauge, but a, a, a quarter inch rod. And when, it, when I could roll it through against the tip of this, then that's when I knew I had my spot. Another thing, well, let's go into the threading screen now. So I set my machine coordinates right here. I set my part coordinates and then I just typed in for my X. Once I divided by two, just click on that and type in what the value is. What I'm turning is um, a half 28 thread. That's what I'm trying to turn. We'll see what happens. So then the next step is to go to your wizards, pick your lay threading wizard and run it. All right, this is a half 28. So it's going to start, my X right here is going to start at 247, which I'm a couple thou off there when I turned that down. And then I did, um, to get my um, depth of cut, hold on here. My depth of cut was a formula I found right here for right here I'm doing a half 28 so 1 divided by 28 gives me my pitch of 0, 0.3571 times 0.866 which that'll be my depth of cut so I just subtracted this number from 2 from the 247 right there and it gave me my X end now if, this is if I'm doing this right now, we got our pitch, which was right here. That's the pitch. What else do I have? Okay, here's another important one right here with the Z start. I read a couple of places where you really want to start pretty far out in front of the part because you may get a timing issue with Mach 3, and it may, if it either, I guess from bogging down or something, so you want to start the timing uh, far out in front of the part so you won't have issues with threading so 0 0.300 prior to the tool making contact is when the Z will start it will end I want a half inch in uh, so I took it out to negative uh, 700 and then my first pass depth of cut again found the formula online which uh, you take uh, the depth of cut times 0 0.3, 0 0.009274. I don't understand that, and I hope this works out. Um, so we're just going to find out. Now I'm turning to 400 RPM. So I've already saved it all. So let's see if we have a disaster or not. 
So I'm going to exit out of here, right? And then I'm going to auto. So <clears throat> let me turn on my spindle first. And get up to 400 RPM. So I, it's not, Mach 3 doesn't control my spindle. So I turn the spindle on there. And then I go up here to where the spindle is. It says 317. We get up to 400 because that's what I wanted to thread out. tricky to um, very sensitive all right I'm gonna live with that so I got it at 404 now before I hit start I'm gonna get that e stop out I'm also gonna get my uh, my uh, cutting fluid out here I had a little too much there. Now I'm a little nervous. Let me get my E stop ready. All right, and then cycle start. There we go. See what happens, fellas. Ooh, little deep. I think she's a little deep. it out of there. See, I forgot to put a chamfer on the end of that, too. See that? Oh, doesn't sound healthy. <laughs> Too deep. Ah, dang it, man. That's it? Well, that didn't work very well. My depth of that's too much depth of cut, that's what it is. It was the depth of cut. I, I know you can't see it with this thing, but those are some pretty sharp threads. All right, you know what? I have the um, I have a tap. Hold on a minute. See if the tap will go on there. Here we go. Let's see what happens.
Huh. Dang. Whoops, I wasn't even showing you. Here's the tap going on. Doesn't mean anything. A little sloppy. Pretty sure my depth of cut was too much for this little machine. So I'm going to have to review that. And I don't have a half inch nut, half 28 flash hider or nothing. But I think they're really rough. Can't get a good shot in there. But to the naked eye, it's, it's a nice sharp V there. All right, back to the drawing board.